the deep end. They give it to him. Running left. Touchdown, Wolverine. Haskins with lots of room. Haskins up and over. Still going inside the 30. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another very special NFL Draft edition of Stay Hot where we're getting to sit down with some of the top prospects, diving deep into their college careers, their hopes and excitement for the NFL, along with much more. Today, we are joined by Michigan star running back Hassan Haskins. How are you doing, man? Welcome onto the show. Man, how you doing? I'm, I'm all good. You know, I'm just blessed to be here, you know, talking to y'all. So let's go. It's great to have you. You know, we, we did some digging beforehand. We always like to know a little bit about who we're talking to. And, um, you know, obviously you love football, but, and we'll get to that, but we were taking a look at your Instagram and we noticed a pic of you just leaning, leaning against a brick wall with the quote, don't hate what you don't understand. And we're like, that sounds really cryptic. So we just wanted to know, like, were you calling somebody out? Like, what did you mean by that? I mean, I wasn't calling nobody out, you know, I was just stay, stay in the fact, you know, uh, you don't know what people going through or anything like that, you know, so. I would just, just a little quote that I seen that I liked it, you know. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm a so, big fan of the cryptic quotes myself, but usually I'm doing it to like throw some shade sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that, you know. I would I don't got beef with nobody, so we all good. <laughs> Fair enough. You had an uh, an older brother who played five seasons uh, in the NFL. Six. Uh six yeah. um what type of advantage like having somebody who's already been in the nfl so close to you do you think you've gotten from that uh i mean i just he just taught me a lot of things you know uh some things that he had to go through that i that i don't gotta go through you know i just seen things and hear things from him and uh you know it's just a blessing to uh to get that opportunity and uh They'll make the same mistakes. He he made, you know, do things a little different than, than what he did, you know. So it's just I'm just still learning about about everything and uh how it goes. So it's definitely a blessing, you know, for me to get that opportunity. You know, so do you feel like that's more stuff when it, when he gives you advice, do you feel like it's more stuff that when you get into the NFL or is it like draft process stuff as well? Uh more so being in it. Being in the uh, NFL, you know, just sway sway away from things that uh, you know, he had to go through, and just and just things like that, you know, that uh, that he, that he think he should have did while he was in the NFL. So he just taught me a lot of things, a lot of different business aspects as well. You know, he he think he should have did while he was in the league, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm learning still, you know. So it's gonna it's gonna be a journey. That's really cool. Um. So when Michigan was recruiting you at the time, you were ranked the the 82nd high school back. You know, a lot of people were overlooking you at that time. You know, what what do you think really stuck out to, you know, Jay Harbaugh about your tape? Uh, man, I'm a, I, I've, I've always been really good. You know, I've always been physical and just I was just a playmaker. You know, uh, I was just, I don't know why I was under recruited. You know, I was, I had all the film, you know, I had all of the stats that go go along with it. And uh, I was right. just always under recruited for real. But, uh, you know, in Michigan, they just took a chance on Jay Harbaugh, you know, was my coach, my running back coach for a while. And, uh, you know, he just took a chance with me and uh, offered me, you know, so that was a blessing by him. And, um, uh, you know, and I and I prove myself that I you know I can play on the next level, and I'm prove myself right. again when I'm when I'm moving up to the NFL. So I'm just continue proving proving everybody wrong. You know, just proving proving that I'm that I'm worthy of it. Yeah, no, it's it's really good to have that chip on your shoulder. You know, mm-hmm. everyone wants to count everyone wants to count you out, but sometimes you just gotta exactly. so you just got a ball. Um, mm-hmm. Speaking of the Harbaugh's, um, you know, Jim Harbaugh has been known to be, you know, kind of a kind of a guy. Um, do you have any, do you have any stories? You know, something that we might not know about Jim Harbaugh. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, he's definitely interesting, you know, interesting. (laughs) He's, he's super smart though. You know, he, he have a whole bunch of quotes. I'm trying to think of one, but he always had some type of quote while we like in a team meeting or or if I'm talking to him or something like that, you know, uh, 
can't think of one right now. Um, it's just so many. I just forgot. It just went out my mind. But no, nah, he's definitely an interesting guy. He, he knows exactly what he's talking about and how, and how he uh, do things, you know, throughout the throughout the football building. So definitely a smart guy. You know, he he's often known for being a very intense guy, you know, having an intense personality and thing. Yeah. Um, what what does that intensity bring, you know, to, to the practice? And then how does that help with like an on-field performance? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, we need an intense coach, you know, that's going to uh, amp his guys up. And, you know, just we just got to piggyback off that. You know, we got to be intense ourselves. You know, we got to, you know, right. uh, have good practices, good games, you know, just do good in everything in meetings or whatever workout. So uh, it's always it's always a good thing to have a tense coach, you know, that's gonna, you know, uh, pump pump his team up and uh, and things like that. So it's definitely definitely good to, to have that, you know. So so how was there ever a coach at Michigan that you felt like really helped instill like a lot of work ethic or like anyone other than like the Harbaugh's? That, that you really thought like um like made a really good impression or left a good left a good impression on you? Oh yeah. Um I said my one of my, my uh, strength coaches, uh his name was Coach Coach Herb, you know, Ben Herbert. Um man, he just he's intense himself, you know, he's kinda right. <laughs> he's that strength coach is gonna like, you know, uh, get every every ounce of Work out, out in you, you know, uh, well, he's, he's very, he's, he's pretty funny, you know, even though he don't be trying to, he's, he's just a funny dude. And, uh, <laughs> man, he's just, a, uh, <laughs> a crazy dude. I'm not going to lie, but nah, he definitely, um, told me some things and helped me out throughout my life, you know, and, uh, you know, I just thank, thank him for that. You know, he just installed, like, I don't know, just something in me that, that, that I that I brought the juice out on the field, you know, and I, he just helped me out at the you know in the long run. So yeah. During your time at Michigan, I think your first freshman year, uh, you were asked to switch to linebacker. How was that like for you? Was did it concern you a little bit that they wanted you to play a different position other than running back? I mean, yeah. At first, I was like worried, like, hey, I'm I'm not good enough, you know. But uh, then I, I realized, <clears throat> talking to a couple people, a couple coaches, you know, I just realized that, you know, I'm an athlete, you know, uh, I'm going to do anything I can to try to get on that field, you know. Um, so talking to my family, things like that helped me too. I uh, realized that, you know, I'm an athlete and just do anything in my power to get on that field. And, uh, you know, I moved a linebacker for a while. I told myself, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna do the best, best that, that I can to uh, get out, get out on that field. So, you know, whatever they they ask me to do, I'm gonna do it to to 100 percent, to the fullest. You know, so I was, I was, I was a little worried at first, but towards the end, I, I didn't, I was, you know, happy. You know, but uh, yeah. Do you, Do you think playing linebacker a little bit also helped you? Maybe become a better back as well. Yeah, I mean, it definitely help me for sure. Uh, just saying, like what backers do and what what type of reads they they reading, you know, and, uh, how they reading the offense, how they reading the, reading the running backs and things like that, you know. So it definitely taught me a couple of different things on how they how they react and, and their tendencies and things like that, you know. So moving we moved back to running back, I I started to notice like what they did and how they, you know, how they was going about blitzing, anything like that. You know, right. so it definitely helped me at the end. I mean, I, you know, so. Now, you you had the luxury of going against Ojabo and Hutchinson in practice. And, and one thing that, you know, I've noticed and a lot of other people have noticed on your tape is that your pass blocking is some of the best of any running back in this class. It's It's really mm-hmm. exceptional. Do you do you believe that going against those guys, you know, played a big role in that, or you know, were you always like that, like even in high school, or was it just like an iron sharpens iron type of thing? Yeah, like yeah, it's an iron sharpens iron. I feel like I always I had it, but it's just you know iron sharpens sharpen iron. 
you know, just playing against a talented defense that we had, you know, all the guys was, was, was good. You know, our, our whole defense was, was solid. You right. know, and just playing against guys like that, you know, Aiden and Jabo and things like that helped me, helped me out, you know. Uh, we helped each other out, you know. So it definitely was a blessing to uh, get a chance to play with them guys and, uh, you know, go to war with them guys. So, yeah, <laughs> it definitely helped me out. I've read that you try to model your game after Adrian Peterson. What are the nuances of his, like, running style that you try to emulate? Just the physicality. You know, uh, he and just everything. You know, he run through your face. You know, he he <laughs> juke somebody. <laughs> you know, so that's so. I feel like I can do the same thing. You know, I got the same tools. You know, as him. You know, but um, you know, when I get to the next level, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna try to be better. You know, so right. <laughs> just I'm just challenging, just challenging myself. You know, try to be better. You know, best player I ever can be when I move when I'm moving on to the NFL. So. You know, you're going you to see, though. You'll see one day. Right. I I personally always thought you kind of ran a little bit like a bigger Maurice Jones-Drew. Mm. Um, I always got that vibe from you. Same thing with, like, the power physicality, but then, like, you know, every once in a while, you'll make a quick move in between, you know, a couple mm. defenders, make some guys miss. But obviously, MJD's like five seven, <laughs> so that's a, yeah. <laughs> that's the one one difference there. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little taller than that, you know. So. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> you talk about being able to run through somebody and juke them out. Which do you think is more satisfying, juking someone so they don't even hit you, or just running straight through someone? Uh, for me personally, running through somebody. It's just that, I don't know, it's just that, <clears throat> that sad, sad, I don't know, just running through somebody, you know, I feel like it's just, it's just more power than, than juking somebody, I guess, you know, it's just for, for, for me, and uh, I don't know, just getting that, going through somebody, just satisfaction of, I don't know, dominating the, the opponent, so running through somebody is probably, you know, better for me what about like running through someone versus pass blocking <laughs> if you had to pick between like those two like if you had to pick between like pancaking somebody mm-hmm. or you know running through someone in the a gap which which one do you pick him man them, them like neck to neck you know <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm I, you know uh, <laughs> pass blocking you know you like you you protecting protecting your quarterback, you know. You having right. somebody out, you know. So that's that's a big thing. Just running running somebody over, just satisfied. Just oh uh, man, probably like hand <laughs> pancaking somebody. Probably that's probably yeah. Because I know I'm like protecting, you know, my quarterback. You know, helping them out and just you know helping the team all, all around. So probably. Fair enough. I can't hate that at all. Mm. Now, I know you've had you know some really you had some really big plays this past year. Do you have a favorite, or you know maybe not a favorite play, but like you know a favorite moment? Um, That's a couple big moments that I had during this season. You know, my favorite is probably like when that when that clock hit hit zero. Versus Ohio State, you know, and everybody running on the field. <laughs> you know, so that that's probably my, my favorite. I never been been through anything like that while the, when the whole crowd rushed on the field, you know. So that was crazy. I never I never had that experience, but I did last year. So you know. Matt and I are actually Ohio State fans. Uh, so we were we were we were watching that, and you you had a you had a big game against Ohio State yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were watching that game, and it was it was painful to watch. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet, man. It was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Did you, did you have a favorite play from that game? Because you you broke off a couple long runs against Ohio State. Yeah, probably probably the last one when I um broke out to the left. And um, I heard heard of the corner. That's probably my my favorite play. You know, that, uh, you, 
you've talked a lot about how like you like to run physically and how Michigan liked the physicality. And I think that's what ended up getting Ohio State this year is that they couldn't deal with that. And the, mm. in the run game, you know, Ohio State just wasn't able to match up size for size and, mm. and win in the trenches. And that's what ended up yeah, I feel, yeah, killing I feel, this year. Yeah, I felt that early, early on in the game. Like, you know, the running, the running game was working. You know, so we pretty much just stuck to that. And uh, like you said, they, they couldn't match up. They couldn't handle it. So you just continued did doing it, running it. So, yeah. When, when looking at, like, the different types of running plays that you, you know, that you have, would you be able to, like, give, an, like, a ranking of, like, your favorite types of running, like, between, like, power, trap, counter, zone, and toss? Like, would you be able to rank those? as like, which one's your favorite to run? Rank them? Oh, man, see, I, I like them all. You know, I just like getting the ball. <laughs> I just like getting the ball. You know, fair I, enough. I really can't rank them for you know all of them. Is number one to me. <laughs> you know, I just I just love getting the ball, getting the opportunity to run. So, yeah, all of them be number one. <laughs> Especially behind Michigan's offensive line this year. That exactly. <laughs> okay, so, the I'm I'm gonna follow the big guy. You know, absolutely. So, yeah. A lot of NFL backfields have, you know, sort of a committee going on now. Where do you see yourself fitting into a running back committee in the NFL? Mm, like, what do you mean by that? Like, like uh, what what skill set do you think you bring to, like, we're going to put him on the field when we want to do this? Okay. I mean, hopefully uh, I bring all the, all the skill sets to the field. You know, hopefully I can play all the down. You know, whichever first, second down, third down, fourth down. You know, so hopefully I, I can prove myself. You know, to, uh, stay on the field if necessary. You know, if it need needs to be. You know, so you know, that's my mindset going in. You know, so do do you feel like you know Michigan used you a lot? Like anytime they got into like a fourth and one, third and one situation, that was like a very common. I was yeah. like, yep, it's Haskins time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. Do you, do you feel do you feel like that's something that you want in the NFL as well? Where like if you get into short yardage, you want the ball, or because a lot of teams have you know, started doing like you know the quick pass to their you know like a Tyree Kill mm. or Jalen Waddle. Do you do you feel like you'd like to bring you know that short that short yardage run running ability to the NFL level? Yeah, most definitely. I want I want the ball in my hand. Nah. Yeah, Michigan used me a lot, like fourth, fourth and one, third and one. Cause you, they knew like I got that that mindset that I I won't be stopped, I won't be denied, and right. uh, and that's exactly how my mindset is. You know, uh, I'm, I'm getting them extra yards. You know, I'm putting, I'm trying to carry the team on my back. You know, so I'm gonna do whatever I can to get them <laughs> extra yards, get that first down. So yeah, I, I definitely, they can definitely use me in the NFL for them, for them, from third and one, fourth and one type type plays. So. Yeah. Sure. Well, before we head out, we have some rapid fire questions for you. Like, don't think too hard about it. No pressure. It's just like rapid fire, fun questions. <clears throat> so, man. All right. Right off the bat, your first purchase when you get your first NFL paycheck? Probably a, a car. I don't know what type, but <laughs> some type of car. <laughs> yeah. You don't, you don't have a favorite car in mind? Uh, I guess it depends. I guess it might depend on where you live. Exactly. What everyone's been saying. It depends yeah, on where you live. Stuff, <laughs> you know. I guess that's fair. Mm. All right. Um, what about a celebrity you'd like to meet? Probably, I'd say Kevin Hart. You know, he's, he's hilarious. You know, I want to <laughs> laugh, like, continuous laughing. Like, I play the <laughs> fun dude to be around. <laughs> no, Kevin Hart's funny. I love his mm. stuff. What is your biggest fear? Biggest fear? Ah, man. I feel like probably, I, w- I would say heights, but I feel like, I don't know. Matter of fact, it might be a plane crash or something like that. You know, just not plane even crash. crash, just like dropping super low. Like just, falling? Yeah, just falling. Like, yes, that's fair. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> what about your favorite movie? My favorite movie, probably 
the whole Harry Potter series. You know, I, I oh, love Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's Harry just Potter. interesting. You know, just all yeah. that. I don't know. It's just very interesting for some reason. <laughs> what what house are you? Huh? Oh, what house? All right, probably Gryffindor. You know, Gryffindor. So yeah, all right. Basically, you know. Heard it here first. Hassan Haskins is Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, and then we we have a bit of a bit here about ice cream. So we have to ask what your favorite ice cream flavor is, right. or like if you or like a top three if you can't think of one. Uh, my, my top one is definitely Oreo. I loved Oreo since I was young. Like, I don't, Oreo fl- flavor is different. You know, I can't go wrong, wrong <laughs> with Oreo. You know, so it's definitely top Fair one. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. What What are your thoughts on lemon ice cream? Lemon? Lemon. Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know I I was asking that. everybody this. No one's had lemon ice cream. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had that one. <laughs> you know, yeah, disappointed. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, thank you so much for joining us. It's been great having you. Thank you. Uh, we wish you the best in the NFL. Uh, shout out to Washington Talent for bringing on these great prospects. Yeah. These great, you know, these great prospects, and then. As always, guys, tons and tons of content coming away on all platforms. We'll be back with more content here shortly. And until next time, we'll catch you all on the Flippity Flop.